Hey guys, my name is Ryan and welcome to Overwatch Central. So I kind of want to cut the pre-rambling short. About three months ago, stuff was datamined in the game going over the Summer Games event, but also an event called Event 8. Now, of course, we know by now that Event 8 is going to be the Halloween event. So today I want to go through this list, what it means for certain characters, kind of debunk a lot of things that have been said as well, as a lot of stuff in this list is different to what we've already seen so far from the event. Just a quick mention for those that don't understand how data mining works, it's literally just a list of names and certain characters saying Bastion, for example, has one event 8 item. It doesn't say what the item is, whether it's a skin, highlight intro, that kind of thing, whether it's going to be legendary, epic. It just says item. So you also will be able to get to see what said items are in this video. But the one thing that I do want to go over is that these items at least are not hero sprays, voice lines, or a victory pose. Why is that? Well, there were no new hero sprays from the summer games, meaning that they weren't planning to add any more spray cosmetics for certain heroes. At least for the summer games, might be different for Halloween, but I highly doubt it. So other than the little trick or treat sprays that you can get, I don't think there's going to be any more added. Every character got a voice line by some stretch, we most likely will get a new voice line this time around as well but of course not every hero in this list is getting an event 8 item so for the fact that every hero is going to get one of these every hero would show up in this list with at least one item right so it's clearly not added voice lines and I imagine the same thing would go for the rip victory pose as well these are both items that every hero got and as I said if that's what they were going to get again then it would say that all 25 heroes would be on this list saying one item at least right so what we do know from this is that it's going to be either a skin an emo or a highlight intro. What's also really important to mention is that this was three months ago. Stuff changes, what they've said about certain heroes doesn't match up to the Summer Games, for example, and of course, say, for example, Reaper it doesn't say that he's gonna get any items from the Halloween event, but of course he gets a legendary because we saw it in the little teaser trailer. So more than anything, items are gonna be added into this list just because you play a hero and it's not being mentioned in this video doesn't necessarily mean to say that it's not gonna be a cosmetic for them in this game. But let's go through what we do know. We'll go in alphabetical order, starting with Bastion. He was going to be getting one event eight item. As I said, it might be more, it could even be less, they might cut stuff out, but I very much doubt that they would take cosmetics away after they've made them. Now for Bastion, he already has an epic skin from the Halloween event. We'll assume that they're trying to keep to that trend of stuff. We've already seen Reaper is gonna get another legendary, so doesn't necessarily mean that it's gospel, but the main thing that I wanna sort of bring up about Bastion is he has no new highlight intro. He has the three that he originally had since since the game has been launched. He has a couple of event specific emotes, so I don't think it's gonna be that. Could be another skin, but I would be leaning towards it being a highlight intro more than anything. Diva will be getting an item as well. I am very much hoping that it is like the Cinderella carriage thing that I've seen dotted around as a concept. Really pretty thing. But again, she's had a few highlight intros and emotes from certain events. So if I was leaning towards anything for Diva, it would be a skin, most certainly a legendary with any luck. Doomfist isn't on this list at all, but I do think it's well enough time between his lodge that he would be involved in events with new skins. I think he could boss what he wore in the comic for sure as a skin. I think that'd be really cool considering there was a bit of a fancy dress theme going through there as well. So that could be a potential. I'd like to very much see it. And also we're going to sort of fly through this Genji as well. Could be a legendary. He has a highlight intro already from the Halloween event. You know, he's cutting the pumpkin, but it also could be an emo. He has a couple already but certainly not as many as other heroes. Hanzo also gets an item. This is a character that very much lacks event legendaries. He has an epic skin from the Halloween events before, and he just got a highlight intro from the Summer Games, so it could be an emote as well. Again, another hero I'd like to see a really spoopy legendary skin for. Junkrat also gets an item. He already has a legendary from the Halloween event, recently got one as well from the Summer Games. So it could very much be a highlight intro or an emo. I'd very much like to see an emo along the lines of the Dr. Junkenstein thing, messing around with potions perhaps. We've already seen the Reaper legendary fitting really nicely with the highlight intro of him coming out of a coffin. So maybe there'd be more stuff to do with skins matching up with highlight intros and that kind of thing. I think they've really set these kind of characters, I guess. McCree has one event item. He already has a legendary skin as we have seen from the teaser trailer, but I would expect to see more. There's some pretty cool stuff in there. Misk has already done a video of some of the voice lines that the new McCree says. So if you haven't seen that video, do check it out. It should be in the top right on the screen, but you know how I am with linking stuff, so maybe not. Mercy hasn't got anything down, but I do want to say that she is due an emote. I believe she doesn't have any in terms of an event. 
I wanted to bring Arisa up in this list as well because it says that she has one non-event item and four summer games items, but the thing is she never got that amount. We go to Reaper, who I said before doesn't have anything down from the Dating Man stuff way back when about any form of Halloween stuff, but of course he does have a legendary, or at least an epic skin that we have seen from the teaser trailer. So again, just because a hero hasn't been mentioned in this list doesn't necessarily mean that they won't be getting a legendary. This is just a good place to start with concept of speculation on what kind of skins we're going to see from who. Reinhardt gets another item. He already got an epic skin last year in a Halloween event. He has a couple of event emotes as well, but the main thing again, much like Bastion, is he hasn't had a new highlight intro since launch. So I'd very much like to see some sort of scary Reinhardt pose thing going on with a highlight intro. Because I play a lot of him as well, I would just like to see a new highlight intro for Reinhardt. Been using the same tray for so long now that it would be nice to see other things. Another hero that follows that trend is Soldier76. No new highlight intro since launch. He has an epic skin already and is due an item in this event. So so again, very much likely that Soldier 76 could get a highlight intro, which would be cool with a Thriller skin. I'm hoping a bit of a reference there might be quite cool. We get into the last three, which are Sombra, who may be getting a legendary skin. She hasn't had one in quite some time. She did have one for the Summer Games, but that's the only one that she's ever had. She has no highlight intro, much like Soldier and Reinhardt, and also no emo other than the dance from the anniversary event. So again, all up in the air for what Sombra could get this time around. Symmetra has an epic skin already, it could be an emote or a highlight intro, she's already had an highlight intro from Christmas and also an emote from the Summer Games last year. So it could be either or in that case, it could be a legendary skin, really depends what Blizzard want to do with it. And finally we have Tracer who has one event item, more than likely a legendary, she hasn't had one from the event so far yet, so it's quite possible, quite likely to be honest, but who really knows. Anyway, that's all of the heroes that were in this list in alphabetical order. I must stress again that we don't really have much more information in that other than the date man stuff. Do expect to see leaks, they tend to happen a week beforehand. Although the Summer Games was quite good for that, there wasn't really anything that was leaked. But that's everything that I wanted to go over in this video. Do let me know what things that you would like to see from the event. Try and guess some of the skins that some characters may get. Some of do some do you think it's going to be a legendary? What would make a cool skin for her? Let me know down in the comments below. And until next time, take care. We'll see you then.